It's time for a new text and titles tutorial. Get ready for fun and excitement. We Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at shortcut text and titles in the modern age. We have animations, we have colors, outlines, more animations and blocks of colors in the background and we cannot rotate text if it's inside a video clip properly without rotating the rest as well. What we can do is we can move the rotate up and we can rotate the video without the text. But we're gonna take care of that. So how is this all possible? I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Let's take a look at this clip. In the original state, after you drag a clip into this area and then drag it into the timeline. Oh, let me just show you for good measure. After you did that, when you click on the clip, you have the filters on the left. Click the plus, type in T-E-X-T, -E and you have the text filter. This one has timecode per default. Just write anything in there instead. Once you did that, you can set the font here, and you can set a font size, which will not be accepted immediately. Also, you can type in a font size. I'm gonna use 144. But to make the number actually be used, you have to check use font size, I imagine it says. And then the font size will be applied. You can change the location of the text using these buttons. You can obviously change the color of a font using this. And of course you can freely select the color. You can give the font an outline by raising the thickness and picking a color here. Yeah. And you can give it a background, which doesn't work so great to be honest. But it is possible, you can add more by using padding. Which really would at least need a vertical and horizontal, but... If, if that was added, then we would complain about top and bottom. Padding needing different values. So for now we have an all side padding. But we're gonna have a walk around for that later as well. And if you want to get rid of that, you just have to set alpha channel to zero. Or you can set it to half transparent. Let's set this to 55. Now we have this. We can change the position, we can also just drag it here. But we can also reset this. And we can keyframe this. If we click this icon, let's play back a little. Alright, so we have our first keyframe set here. When we pressed the icon, and now we want it to be somewhere else at this point. If we move it around, a new keyframe will be added and now an animation has been added. That's how that works. We can change the size, which is a bit cumbersome, you have to actually enter the numbers, but this one does not get keyframed. Still works though. And the box actually gets moved, so you can place the text somewhere in this box if you want to change the position. That also works. Wait a second, I was wrong. The size also gets keyframed. Let's let's test this. Okay, so we have two keyframes there. All right, uh, so I guess the icon missing there just confused me. So you can actually keyframe the size and position of the text. Nice. And to get back to the normal timeline, just click timeline here. So much for the basics, but let's take a look at my project here. So we have uh, this text here and then this text here. So we have for a new and then text and titles tutorial. And let's take a closer look at the timeline. There's a problem here. What if we want to move the text to the left or rather make the yellow text appear sooner? What we can do is just drag this to the left and drag that Whoa, didn't want that crossfade. Drag and snap. And what's gonna happen? Well, in this case, looks like the transition was also moved. In this case, I believe the transition is uh, not visible anymore. It's somewhere in the outside there. So we would have to make new keyframes here if we wanted to keep the keyframes I already placed. But we did make the yellow text appear sooner. But if we wanted to be able to move text around more freely, I would recommend that you simply right-click here, add video track, and then create a new invisible track to which you can add titles. 
or text. Just go to File, Open Other, pick Color, and in Color it's by default transparent, so just keep that, press OK. And this clip in the Source view, which looks like a black clip, it's transparent. Drag it, click it and drag it to the timeline. Right, here we have it. And it has nothing inside, it's just invisible. We can add text to that. So just press the plus in filters over here and enter text and add text. And here we have to do the same thing again. Alternatively, we can just copy stuff. For example, we can click on this clip, press the copy the filters button, click back on the invisible clip and paste filters. Now let's just figure out, okay, this one we don't need, let's remove that. Rotate and scale we also don't need, let's remove that. Text we do want. Uh, let's type in something new. Why not? This is a new beginning. So this is on top of other clips with other texts. And we can move it around. And as long as we keep the same length, we can also keyframe it. We can also try some presets. Let's uh, have it slide in from left. This reset the font, didn't it? Well, that's easily fixed. Here we are. So this is using simple keyframes. And we can, of course, add an out to that. We just have to set the keyframe at the end manually. All right, so that works. Let's go back to the timeline. Let's put this on top of these clips. Or rather, over here. All right, so text comes in. And we have a scene change and text goes out. So that's how easy we can make text or titles that are independent of the rest of the project. All right, now one thing you might not like is that background color like this has to have a certain size. For example, we can control its width independently from its height. For this, I have another solution. We can add another track for video. Let's move this uh, titles clip up. And let's create another invisible clip in File, Open Other. And again, we're going to go to Color and just press OK. And this one we're going to drag as well in here. And we're going to go to File, Open Other. And this time we want to go to Color, but set it to not transparent, but instead to black. And Alpha Channel has to be 255. Unless you want it to be transparent. Let's do a transparent one. 155, how about that? Let's press OK. And OK, and let's drag this in. Alright, so everything is darker here. And now we can modify the size of this, for example, using size. And here we're gonna enable distort, and let's set size to maybe 200, 300. And now we're gonna just change the vertical position to 200, 400, 360 probably, 380. This looks pretty good. Let's click some other clips so we can see this without the border, OK. Let's modify this some more, 390. Yeah, like that. Let's check it out. Right, nice. So this is a nice background for text, I think. We can also make it fade in, because currently it's just appearing out of nowhere. For this I would like to use the Opacity filter. Let's press the plus, enter OPA, click Opacity, and we're gonna keyframe this thing. So let's go to the moment where it should be full opacity. So we're going to set a keyframe here. Then we're going to go to the beginning. And here we're going to set this to zero. And here we're going to set another keyframe of 100%. We're going to change the level. And now we're going to go to the end and set this to zero. Let's go back to timeline and try it out. Oh, that's really nice. Fade in and fade out. Let's get rid of this title. It's kind of unpleasant. I hope this helped you with making titles and text in Shotcut. Let me know in the comments if you need anything else. Give this video a like and subscribe for more Shotcut tutorials and other useful stuff. I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao!